Hey everyone, Anthony Scott here of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today I am taking a look at Hasbro's newly released Transformers Legacy United G1 Universe Metal Hawk figure. Special shout out and thank you to site sponsor Big Bad Toy Store for sending him along for review. It's greatly appreciated. To buy Metal Hawk and additional figures, please use our links off of ToyHypeUSA.com. Those are hyperlinks before you shop and head over to Big Bad Toy Store or you can use the links right in the YouTube description below. Metal Hawk is packaged in a window box here. No plastic, just cardboard. And here's a look at all sides. Very nice images of the character on the side here. Look at additional characters in the line. And of course, the back, you have a look at robot and jet mode there. So I'm going to take him out of packaging now. And let's take a closer look. Here is your in-hand look at G1 Universe Metal Hook, but first let's take a look at the instructions. So I'm going to open the pamphlet here. And here is a closer look at this. So you can see, pretty straightforward with the instructions, really not too complicated. And here is a look at the Cybertronian jet mode, which I'll be showing you guys later on in this review. Here is your in-hand look at Metal Hawk. He is G1 inspired and in vintage toy colors. And this is the most accurate sculpt in these colors that we've gotten to the G1 character ever. So that's pretty cool. The tooling itself is retooled from Kingdom Cyclonus, which was a good sculpt. And this is just a fantastic figure overall. He comes in metallic gold, blue, silver, red, and that is it as far as the colors. He has the Autobot logo right there on his chest. Here's a look at all sides. As you can see, they really went all out with the detail on the sculpt. A lot of interesting little sculpture right there on the torso there. Very, very nicely done. Head sculpt looks great. The eyes are in a lighter blue compared to the arms. Face is metallic silver, and he has a gold helmet over his head there, which cannot be removed. Here's a closer look at the back. The articulation is standard for today's modernized Transformers figures. He includes a ball jointed head, decent range of motion there, Swivel hinged shoulders, swivel hinged elbows, swivel wrists, although this move that it's not really supposed to move as far as the articulation, it's just part of the transformation. So the wrists are swivel. The wings on the back are on a hinge joint there. Swivel waist, ball jointed hips or excuse me swivel hinged hips swivel thighs and hinged knees as far as the feet they do move as shown but i think that's just part of the transformation not necessarily a point of articulation here is a closer look at metal hawks accessories it is the same as the one that came with transformers legacy evolution metal hawk figure which i have over here we'll be comparing this to he comes with the sword and the blasters that can be connected together as shown. Here is a look at various poses of the figure. Here I put the weapons in opposite hands. Here I split the guns apart and here's a look at that. Here are a look at the top of the guns. As you can see, there are wings on the side as well as sticking up on the front there. These can also be placed on various parts of the bodies with holes, and this includes the shoulders as shown. They can also be placed on the legs as shown. Here is another look, this time with them holding the sword. Here is the comparison that I promised you guys earlier on in the video. This the figure on the right is from Transformers Legacy Evolution. This is Metal Hawk's animated deco. So this new release is toy accurate. This one is animated inspired on the right. 
here is a look at the back showcasing you guys the differences in the colors and everything i'm noticing that the red on the wings and on the feet and everything that is basically the same color however the other tones are different in the blue and the silver and the gray the gold everything else here is a closer look at the head sculpts so you guys can get a good comparison of that as well here is a comparison of the weapons. As you can see, these are in a different shade of plastic. The light ones came with the previous release, but the darker gray ones are for the new release. Here is a look at Metal Hawk Cybertronian Jet Mode. This is a beautiful jet, as you can see here. No Autobot logo on the top, unfortunately, but the likeness was really good. Loving the attention to detail that went into this figure. There is, however, a Autobot logo on the bottom here, which is on the chest in robot mode. Here is a comparison shot of both figures in their Cybertronian jet mode. You see the differences in color here. Here is a look at the other side. And finally, here is a look at the accessories on the bodies here. The sword goes on the top and the blasters go on the sides as shown. Here is a look at the other side for you guys. Overall, this is a great figure. I highly recommend you guys pick them up. And you can do so at site sponsor Big Bad Toy Store. Please use our hyperlinks off of ToyHappyUSA.com before you shop. Or use the links right in the YouTube description below. I am Anthony Scott. Thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more news and reviews.